Hi everyone, I hope you're well. We're in the camper van. <laughs> We're only on the driveway. Obviously we can't go anywhere at the moment. I've just put this video together uh, because I get a lot of questions about the kit I take with me when we go out in the camper van. So the kayaks, the bikes and all the different bits and pieces we take and the wood burning stove. So this is just a quick video really about what we take with us out in our camper van because we use our camper van like an outdoor centre. The whole idea for us is to get in middle of nowhere with all our outdoor gear or toys as Joe calls them and go and play. Go canoeing, climbing, kayaking, do whatever we can while we're out there and enjoy ourselves and have our home base with us and all the comforts we have with us. So Lou is well, there he is behind me, desperate to get out. He's getting out for a couple of walks a day. I take him in the morning, Joe takes him in the afternoon. But he's definitely missing going to work because he is a therapy dog so he's missing being at work with people and he's also missing getting out in the camper van like the rest of us hope you like the video um i will have some more videos coming soon some more videos with louis and uh thanks as always for watching and hope to see you soon you got anything to add louis <laughs> one of the toys that i take away with me when i go camping in the camper van is in this plastic box and this plastic box keeps it nice and clean and in here is a frontier wood burning stove it's not used inside the camper van it's used outside the camper van and uh, it falls down it actually comes in a bag but i keep it in a plastic box because it's a lot easier to store and it doesn't smell and it fits in the garage underneath the bed so the legs fold out and there's some pins that hold the three legs into place it's made out of steel. I've recently sprayed it again, that's why it looks a bit strange. And inside there are all the um, pipes of the chimney stack. So there's a first one that has a vent on it that enables you to stop the flow of the air going in and out. And then you can place the others in there from there onwards. And this final piece, you fit it on before you put it on the top, is a spark arrester to stop any sparks coming out the top and burning your awning or anybody's tent. It's a brilliant piece of kit, we cook on top of it, we have a pizza stove that works on it and it's just great to sit round on a night. And it's nice and safe and I've, I've never had a problem on a campsite using it. You can take the top off to put wood in, and no real need because you can use the door on the front. This here is a stainless kettle that fits onto the chimney stack and it just clips onto the side and it uses the heat from the bits and from the chimney stack to boil water in there. So as your campfire is going, you can just have this boiling away and make a cup of tea or coffee whenever you need it. It's really good for uh, Irish coffees around the campsite on a night. And it all fits back into that plastic tub and just fits in the garage underneath the bed. Really brilliant piece of kit. It's called a Frontier Stove. This is it on a campsite and as you can see we've got a pan on the top and that's our pizza stove. So we can cook pizzas in there while we're on a campsite. How many toys can you have in one van? <laughs> so that's the box back inside and as you can see there's some other plastic boxes in there so there's fishing gear this is full of um, those uh, pre-packed logs so I use those in the wood burner at the back there's a gas barbecue an outside cooking stove um, the fishing gear as I say and some of the bits and pieces and in these dry bags, one of them's got a dry suit in. And the other one's got a wet suit in. So if I go bodyboarding or if I take the snorkeling gear out, I've got everything I need in the back of here. Then all I have to put on the top is the canoe and the kayak and the surfboard. That's with everything back in there. This crate here can take a diesel can. So if we're on a long trip to Scotland, I'll put a diesel can in there for some extra fuel. But I don't carry it all the time because so it's quite heavy. Spare gas canister as well. I can use that for the gas barbecue, the inside gas stove if the other one runs out, and the outside stove if I want to cook on that as well. So in the garage, there's a set on top kayak. And there's enough room on the roof rack to take a set on top kayak. And one man, this is a, a old town pack, one man Roylex plastic canoe. So I can get this canoe, this sit on top kayak, 
and this full Malibu surfboard on the roof um, all at once so I can take all the gear with me at once and then of course mountain bikes and electric bikes and things can go on the back as well and if I really wanted to and I've done it in the past but never bloody use it when I take it away I can take the motorbike on a trailer on the back as well I used to do that with a T5 but I, I found I used to drive the T5 around with this on the back time and time again and never use it but it's still there if I need it you can never have too many toys they're the rules yep this e-bike is absolutely brilliant I'm out for my uh, daily exercise on the bike but because I've got an e-bike I can get a few more miles in so within an hour I can get about 15 miles in which is brilliant which means I can get out into the countryside we're lucky that we don't live too far away from the countryside and having the e-bike gives you that extra bit of boost to get out to the countryside and of course it's locked down there's nobody about but just look at that view over there lovely yeah and the e-bike it's a Trek Powerfly 7 I have mentioned it before but I've had it for quite a few months now and it's turned into an amazing piece of kit I absolutely love this bike I'm going all over the place on it but from back of the camper van it's perfect you know I can do 40 50 miles a day on this it's just incredible the battery is a 625 watt in here lithium which means I can get Taking it easy and depending what settings I use, I can get two days riding out of it or a full weekend, maybe three days. But it's just an amazing piece of kit. And uh, I was having problems with punctures, but I've managed to solve that now. I've put some inserts in and I'm on tubeless tyres. So even if I get a puncture in this, there's an insert inside and it still works and you can still ride your bike. I'll show you them later on. But a brilliant piece of kit and what a lovely day. I'm so missing getting out in the camper van and this is the only way I can get into a bit of countryside apart from taking Louis out in the morning so yeah I highly recommend if you've got a camper van and you're looking at getting a bike if you get an e-bike you get those extra miles in and you don't have to spend a lot of money this was quite inexpensive but they start from about a thousand pound absolutely amazing piece of kit <laughs> saying earlier about the inserts for my tires on my mountain bike it's this stuff this airliner and this is what it looks like it comes in a long tube it's a special thick sponge and it sits in the actual inner tube space so you don't have an inner tube you use tubeless tires and it sits in the rim and if you get a puncture although you, lo you lose the the air out your tire as normal you do have a ceiling in there and it can plug up small holes but you've still got enough sponge in this and it's equivalent to about 20 psi in your back tyre so you can still cycle on and you just cut them down to size fit them in the actual inner tube where the inner tube would go and uh, they work really well and that's been a game changer really because uh, you know flying about off the tracks that I like to do you get lots of punctures so this means if you do get a puncture, you can get home and sort it out when you get it home. But so far, so good with the sealant in these tubeless tyres and this fitted, I haven't had any more punctures, touch wood. So I can either recommend this stuff, it works really well. So kayak wise, this is my sit on top kayak. And I use this for a number of things, we use this in the sea. I do do a few rivers on it as well but it's got loads of room on it for fishing so you can get all your fishing kit in here it's got a, a fit in here to put the small rod in the back and this piece at the back here you can put your fish in once you catch them 
but I also um, put a small diving bottle in the back with a regulator and if I'm wearing a wetsuit I can go out with this in the back paddle out to sea fasten myself to the boat on a line on a reel go down get some crabs and lobsters have a, a dive around and come back up again I don't use a full-size cylinder I use probably like a pony bottle probably a two litre cylinder two or three litre cylinder and that gives you enough to get down to five to ten meters and have a swim around it's a real good piece of kit it's got good storage in here as well it is quite heavy you can buy sit on kayaks that are cheaper than this this is an ocean kayak um, but this is a good quality one I've had this a number of years now it was about 800 quid when I bought it new it's a Tetra 10 but really really good for kayak fishing I'll link a video at the end of me in Ireland when I go fishing out in this and you'll also see me doing some snorkeling in that video as well but yeah really good and you can use it like a surface marker boy as I say when I take the diving gear with me or even snorkeling gear you can take a spear gun with you jump in the water swim about you towing this behind you on a reel and if you want to go down when you've got a diving cylinder on you can lower yourself down to the bottom have a swim around shoot some fish come back up climb back on this because it's quite stable to climb back on with it being a sit on top and then you can paddle back in and cook your food on the beach lovely piece of kit now as that's a kayak this is a canoe and this is a an old town pack and this is uh it's only a short canoe because it's a one-man canoe and this is really light you can literally pick this up and carry it around one-handed now with it being a very light canoe and being a one-man canoe it's not best for beginners um, the woman I bought this off I bought this off second hand she went on a canoeing course and then she went to a shop and bought this and they obviously didn't give her the right advice because they're quite tippy you need to be quite good at paddling a canoe before you can paddle one of these particularly if it's windy or rough water but for me it's perfect I've done lots of canoeing and kayaking over the years since I was a kid so I've taken this on expeditions into Scotland I'll leave a link at the end the card at the end so you can look at some of my wild camping trips in Scotland where we use this or we use a two-man one and we go onto a remote island in the very northwest of Scotland and we live on there for a week cooking and open fires but the advantage of an open canoe compared to a kayak is you've got a lot more room you can put all your camping gear in all your stuff and there's a mat in the back here for Louis Louis's got a little life jacket and he'll get in the back and come for a paddle with me but the canoes are not that good in rough weather so if it's windy you you'll struggle to paddle against the wind with this on a single paddle but a kayak you more chance of paddling forward in windy weather but you don't have that much room well not as much room storage on them so i can get both of these on the roof and the surfboard uh, to be able to take everything away at the same time as you can see there's a big roof rack on the van it's a full length roof rack it's a rhino roof rack and we have a two bike rack on the back so i can get either a hybrid bike joe's bike my normal mountain bike and the hybrid bike on that so we can take those and we obviously lock them on there but the bike rack fits on well because it folds up out the way and it covers across the ladder puts people off from climbing up your ladder clips on there and you can lock your bikes against it now the roof rack we have a platform on the top made up of separate bits of waffle board and these are fiberglass boards and if you get stuck somewhere in the mud you can put these under your wheels and you can get out usually with these so you don't really need a 4x4 four four. we use these if you get stuck and with a big chunky tires on this it works well but it also gives you a platform to stand on um, solar panels are in the middle and that is a compromise because uh, when you do put the kayak the canoe and the surfboard on the roof it does cover the solar panels and of course they're underneath the roof rack so there's always a shadow so in a summer they just top the batteries up I rely on my battery to battery charger and uh, I've got massive batteries on this I've got 540 amp hour batteries worth on this so I can charge them up before I go when it's in the driveway the, the van will charge it as we drive in or I can charge it up on a campsite but these two panels on here do remarkably well so when it's sat 
in the summer without anything on the roof and usually if we get to a campsite we'll take the gear off the roof and it can get the sun to it um, and the spare wheel at the front so there's enough room on here to get a kayak one side a canoe the other side and the surfboard under one of the canoes or kayaks as well so the big advantage of having this van compared to the T5 we had before is you had to plan what you was going to do and take the relevant kit with you with this you don't have to so this van is literally our mobile outdoor centre so we can take all the gear with us so you're not trying to plan that you're going to go somewhere and there's no surf and you've only took a surfboard or there's too much surf and you've took a kayak or you've took a canoe when you should have took a kayak you've took an e-bike instead of a hybrid bike you can take the lot and in the back as you saw earlier on there's loads of boxes of bits of kit and climbing gear and mountaineering gear and I can swap and change them um, depending where we're going to go and what time of year it is there's even ice climbing gear I can put in the back of here if we get up to Scotland in the winter or even a pea district in years gone by so that's why we have a camper van it's like our base camp if you like and our mobile outdoor centre now if we do both go on our mountain bikes at the same time we have this that fits on back of any of our bikes And when it's put up properly it's a lit and it's got a bed in you can take louis with us so he can sit in there on back of the bikes come for a ride with us and we'll get somewhere we'll take him out and he can chase after his ball and that falls down and the wheels come off and it goes in back of the van as well you got anything else to say louis anything else <laughs> he's just staring at me as if i'm some sort of nutter <laughs>